Hey Zara, hey Quinn. So tonight, another bedtime story. This time, the name of the story is I Love You More Than... Can you guess? You can't? Okay, I'll read the story and you can figure it out. This is written by an actor named Tay Diggs. Super famous actor. When you get older, you'll probably see stuff that he's in, but I think he plays in doctor shows now or something. I don't know. I don't watch TV. Anyway, let's begin. I love you more than... And they are looking at the moon together. And it looks like they're trying to grab it. The moon is actually very far away. So sometimes you think you can grab it, but uh, you have a long trip to the moon before you can actually grab it or touch it. And even when you do, the moon is way bigger than us. My child. So look, he has glasses just like me. He's wearing a tank top. I don't have those uh, heart shaped, uh, I mean those heart with the uh, boxers, but uh, not too bad, I guess. I'm not always with you as much as I'd like. And look, his daughter's right there. She's on an IM pad. So like an iPad, but it's an imaginary one since it's in a book. But she's sad because you can see a tear rolling down her eye. And she's probably sad because she misses her daddy. And I'm sure you girls feel that same way from time to time with me. And you know, that's okay because we always have a way to talk. Which the iPad. And then when I come visit you girls and see you girls, we can actually hug and touch each other in person. So that's always great. And when we're not together, I miss you. You are always running around in my mind and chilling inside my heart. Girls are always on my mind, all the time. Um, make me happy, when I miss you, I'm a little sad, but I always get happy again because I'm glad I had you girls as my daughters. You guys are great. These are the times I think about how much I love you. So, I guess he's driving to work and she's on the, the cheese bus, school bus, and what I'm very baffled by is how this street is set up because it looks like chaos. Um, there's cars going left and right, um, looks like they're about to co collide into each other. Maybe if you close the book, it's like they're side by side, maybe? But then, anyway, I don't want to get caught down that rabbit hole. Next page. I love you more than I love dancing, but I love making up moves and moonwalking with you. Remember, Zara, next time we hang out, I will be teaching you how to moonwalk. Snap, 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 snap to our favorite snappy songs. And she's doing head handstands or headstands or maybe belly stands or back stands because I can't see the second half of her body just like you do whenever we talk. Zara, you too, Quinn. You try. But, um, the efforts are good. The efforts are great. Just keep it going. I love you more than I love singing, but I love to belt out your favorite la 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 bye before you fall asleep so he's at a concert singing and maybe she's listening to him at the concert singing her favorite lullaby so i can't sing i might be at a concert one day but i don't know if i have that many fans like he has in the background but hey you never know life takes you all different kinds of directions i love you more than i love going to the movies but i love how you look in those 3d glasses check out a booming big space action flip so again a 3d movie is when you put glasses on with your 3d glasses and you go to the movie theater they make the uh images come at you they pop out so it seems like you're actually like if you see a dinosaur and he's running towards the screen it might look like he's running towards you when you take him off he's still on the screen so if they ever release 3d movies again um just know it's not real and just enjoy it I love you more than I love the beach, but I love the footprints your little feet make when I'm chasing you through the sand. Tag, you're it. 
I'm excited to go to the beach with you girls and just uh, have fun making sandcastles. You remember in the summer times, our me and you went to the beach and uh, you made your little sand mountain castle thing. Um, it was cool. It was pretty cool. You know, we all helped. Me, Uncle Norwood, and Jocelyn helped uh, make the moat for you, and then we uh, added some sticks to the top of it and took a picture. Now this is a cool page because it's like this. Uh, like that. There we go. I love you more than I love eating, but I love going to breakfast with you. We get pounds of pancakes and apple juice. Sometimes I'll mix a juice of water. Sometimes I'll mix the juice of water so it's not so sweet. And this menu says it's, it's written very weird, so I'm just going to read it out. It may not make sense. But I'm going to also read what I think it's supposed to say. So first, let me read what it says on the left. All day cakes, blueberry, apple, raisin, peach, plum, pear. Right side says you can eat nuts, banana, chips, syrup, seeds. So I think it's supposed to say all you can eat day cakes. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. All right. We'll just leave it up to our imaginations on that. I love you more than all my sneakers, but I love how you look and your cool little kicks. They make you run so super fast. Yeah, you girls are pretty fast. Um, Zara, I saw your little um, video this past weekend of you running and sliding about 50 yards through the grass. Hope you're okay. I hope you don't have any scratches, but uh, you got to be careful. I love you more than New York City. So, fun fact, New York City is actually not too far from, from Nana Patsy's house. So whenever we go visit her, if we drive a little further up, maybe like an hour or so, we'll be right in New York City. And that's where you see all the huge buildings, and you see like a subway station, and it's a lot of cool things there. Um, but also, back to the story, but I love riding the subway with you and taking our time talking on our way to school. I love you more than so many things. I love you more than everything. Spit bars. This is true. I love you, Zara. I love you, Quinn. I just love you. I just love you. Last picture is uh, the daddy and his daughter. It looks like he finally got home, has all the suitcases, and she ran and gave him a big hug, and they both look so happy. And that is the end. So I hope you girls enjoyed the story. I hope you guys have pleasant dreams tonight. I love you. I love you more than everything that was in this book. You guys have great dreams, wake up in a great mood, and I will talk to you tomorrow.